Yo, 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 it's the boys. Day after the time of this video is Kana is embarrassing these rappers. And first of all, Kana is showing that you don't really need people in your corner for you to make things happen, bro. Like, this is a perfect example, bro. I'm so happy for Gunner. Now, guess who's embarrassing these rappers? That's Gunna. right, Wanna. Now, Gunna, Wanna, whatever you want to call him. It's definitely not been a while since we last spoke about Gunna. He's been the man of a lot of conversations we've had recently. Gunna is, of course, a 30-year-old rapper out of Atlanta who's honestly doing what a lot of people thought. He couldn't do. He was locked up for seven months after getting arrested for the Wasso, Rico, and Diamond, which took down close to 30 alleged gang members. Young Thug being pointed out as the head honcho, Thug is still behind bars. Gunna recently dropped his album, A Gift and a Curse. It's been doing phenomenal. People are loving it. Everyone said that Gunna would come out and not have any fans because he took a plea deal. Everyone said that Gunna would come out and be blackballed from the rap industry. We don't mess with rats, they said. We don't mess with the guy who threw the same <laughs> man who brought him up under the bus, they Sort of which he didn't really do because he took a plea deal where he entered a guilty plea in court but at the same time was able to maintain his innocence and there's no proof that any of his statements are being used in the conviction of YSL. Let's talk about Hope You Mean. Yeah. A great record, which is doing amazing. Yeah. If you guys are not aware of what's going on, this song is currently out streaming and outpacing Young Thug's entire project. <laughs> Crazy. Now, Gunna's That's record, Fuck You Mean, is currently number eight on the Billboard Hot 100. It's already a. Listen to me, bro. Fuck You Mean and Cash It is another good um, hit, bro. I'm Rodeo, no Daryl. Accumulated over 60 million streams on Spotify, is getting millions of streams on the daily. I've been streaming the hell out of that record. So much to the point that he is, in fact, out streaming the head honcho himself, Thugger. Gunna's album, if you don't know, pushed 85k first week. Great numbers. While Thug's album did a little more, 89k first week. Not surprised that Thugger managed to- Woo! And the thing about it, bro, kinda had no features, bro. So you know sell more at the end of the day it's young thug whether or not he's behind bars the name still holds a lot of weight in the culture and that's what it is currently however gunna's album is outpacing not only thugs but every single rapper actually except for uzi who's number one gunna's album is currently at number seven on the billboard 200 beating out taylor swift who's at number eight enjoy while it lasts gunna because taylor gonna start climbing she's a different kind of monster it is what it is Believe it or not, a lot of people are actually not happy about this. Why? You guessed it. I don't even need to say it at this point. There's only one reason why they don't want to see one at the top. You already know, okay? It's been really interesting seeing people be so shaken up about this whole thing. It's almost like people have been so brainwashed into caring about all this stuff that has no effect on their life. But you know what? It kind of makes sense because being a contrarian to, you know, the so-called snitches and hip-hop has always been a thing. You don't work with the feds in any capacity, even if it involves innocent people and kids dying. What an honorable mindset to have, right? What a productive way to look at things. The rap industry was the same industry that blackballed the rapper by the name of Pop Hunna. You guys remember that story? If you don't, let me fill in the blanks I don't know really the story, quick. Bro. Pop Hunna was that Philly rapper who was blown up some time back. And as a 14-year-old boy, he testified in a case involving another kid brutally getting gunned down. The documents involving Pop Hunna's name leaked where he was seen testifying and a bunch of grown men in hip-hop came out and condemned this young man to the point where now you don't even hear his name. Now, mind you, he was 14 at the time and had witnessed a little kid getting his head blown off. And they somehow convinced a whole lot of brainwashed hip-hop fans to castigate this man. For what? By helping his community become a better environment by aiding law enforcement and putting a killer behind bars? The gunner situation is obviously different because at the end of the day... Bro, the people are with the federal look. If, if it, in fact, infected their family, if, if it was their family, bro, they would want people to talk. So I don't, I don't understand this whole snitching allegation because it don't make sense. And that's what I'm holding us back as the black people, bro. It's like, we hold on to this thug mentality so dumb. While all these black or black crime happening in our own communities, bro. Come on. The boy Sergio was affiliated to an alleged criminal organization that was involved in alleged murders. For that reason, I'm not going to sit here and say that Gunna is the best 
fucking guy out there. That would be hypocritical of me to say, considering the circumstances. At the end of the day, Gunna was affiliated with YSL, which he no longer is, mind you, but he was affiliated to the network and guilty by association. I'm never gonna praise Gunna for being such a good guy, but I also can't condemn him too harshly because he was arrested for his connection with the organization, he did his time, and he distanced himself from the same life that got him caught up in the first place. Now he's a law-abiding citizen in the free world, staying away from the BS, feeding his family, taking care of his people, so who the fuck am I or anybody else to condemn this man for the current ah. him? There's absolutely no reason to go off on him until he proves us otherwise. I look at this as an opportunity to give back to my community and educate young men and women that gangs and violence only lead to destruction, Gunna said. Did you know that one of the conditions of Gunna's release was he's gonna have to do 350 hours of speaking to young men and women about the hazards and immorality of gangs and gang violence? Can we please get a standing ovation for Gunna? Because the okay, rap game okay. is obviously not gonna salute him for that. And does it really matter that this is conditional? Because some people are gonna say that I already know. He's only gonna do it because he has to. That might be true, but these 350 hours of him speaking out against gang violence, how the hell is that not a win? I mean, I don't even think you can argue against that. Gunna is influential. His words are going to have a positive impact, especially considering, you know, the kind of artist that he is. They said a lot of things about Gunner, as the white news anchors like to say. They wanted this man to fail. For what reason? Well, in order to attempt at upholding him to some type of moral street code. That's an oxymoron, because ain't no morals, ethics, or principles when it comes to gang members. But they wanted to hold Sergio Kitchens accountable to this non-existent street code. But all that, like we've seen in front of our eyes, holds no weight. All that talk rappers do about sticking to the code doesn't exist. A lot of the same guys condemning Gunna so strongly right now. A lot of these rappers, bro, they don't really live the way they talk in these rap, these raps, bro. Like, come on, like... I don't even think a lot of rappers today are making the money they claim to be making because ain't no way. And why are they still living in the hood, most of them? You know? Come on. Right now are the same guys who are gonna be or probably are at the very moment begging for a feature from him behind closed doors. They try to convince us to care, but why should we? Care? If I was gonna bro, I wouldn't work with nobody who who, who didn't want to work with me. With this whole snooching situation, I wouldn't work with them again. Look how, look how a lot of them would be fake. They, they would want to be friends with them after the fact. Why should we as law-abiding citizens who pay our taxes, hopefully you do because they're going to get you otherwise, and stay out of trouble, really care? The only people who should care and do care are the rappers who are making millions from the same image that they criticize Gunna for not staying consistent with. This is their job, so of course they're going to try to convince us to get invested in it. Fuck you mean I'm a care? Yeah. So I say it's not cool to protect killers. What a controversial statement to make as someone who runs a hip-hop platform. Y'all want to protect a bunch of tricks happy hotheads who wouldn't hesitate to put a bullet in you or your family. It don't make sense, it's backwards, but then again, to keep it a garbanzo bean, this entire conversation is backwards. Mm -mm -mm. In hip-hop, anything that involves making a statement is, however, considered snitching because the culture is backwards. I mean, you can help the police catch a killer who killed a kid and they are gonna look at you and say, he's a snitch. At that point, to me at least, you're just as bad as the killer. Because what's gonna happen is that person is out in society and then they're gonna kill more people and probably, sure, maybe even someone you're related to. You get what I'm saying? Now, Gunna came out after he took an Alfred plea deal, which is essentially a way for someone to enter a guilty plea in a criminal court case. But at the same time, you're able to maintain your innocence. Gunna was able to make this happen with his legal team, and there's absolutely no proof that any of the statements he made are being used in the conviction of YSL. Now, he did corroborate what they already knew, which is that YSL is a gang, allegedly. Is that snitching? I say unless he pointed out specific crimes and filled in the blanks for the state, yeah. which there's no proof that he did. I don't call that snitching. Also, another reason why I think Gunna was able to make this happen in the first place is because what he actually got arrested for in comparison to the rest of the criminal network wasn't really that bad meaning they charged Gunna with one count of racketeering and this was a 56 count indictment now what was the one count for well they allegedly caught him receiving some type of stolen property and he was also in possession of drugs including methamphetamine 
marijuana and hydrocodone with the intent to distribute. Also, another thing is a traffic stop that involved both Thug and Gunna and their vehicles, where they were close to being followed by four people armed with AK-47s with 30 round mags. These were all things that were used against Gunna to serve as proof by the state that he was in fact affiliated to this alleged criminal network that is YSL. So they connected Gunna to it, unleashed this indictment on YSL, and then picked him up for this in court. In the end, however, he was able to get out and here we are today. Gunna currently has one of the hottest rap songs in the rap industry. And yeah, he's definitely embarrassing a lot of these rappers out here. Let's just say that. Anyway, do me a favor and like the video if you want to show some appreciation for all the hard work that I'm putting in. That's what's up though. Um in that is not me trying to show like a lot of you people, honestly, if you was in the same situation, if we were to take the police um would you rather be in jail for seven years or would you rather take a plea deal? Let's be real. You know you're not going to be able to take no seven years or even more in jail. So you lie if you think otherwise. Freedom always. Anyway, it's good to see um, Gunner still doing well, but it shows you that a lot of us as a people, we hold on to ne unnecessary things, bro. And it don't really make sense, in my opinion, bro.